The first thing you're gonna do is go to Manjaro settings. Go to hardware configuration. Download all proprietary drivers. Open up your software manager and ensure that Git is installed. Once done that, go to the official guide in the description and scroll all the way down because you are going to use Manjaro instead of Ubuntu. There we'll find everything we'll need. I'll also put this information in the video description. Download Miniconda and open your download folder. Right click and open in terminal. Type in bash, then capital M and you can press tab to automatically fill the file name or just manually put in the whole file name and press enter. This will start the installer. Press enter a couple of times to agree to the usual stuff. Then type yes. Now you can choose an installation directory. I will just leave it in home. Type yes and you're done. Now we're going to create our own virtual environment. Type in conda create minus n face swap python equals 3.6. I will call it face swap 2 because I already have a face swap virtual environment, but you can call it whatever you want. Press y. Close and restart your terminal. You will see your new Conda virtual environment of the left side of the terminal. The default virtual environment is base. Now we want to change it to our new virtual environment. We can do that by entering Conda activate face swap. Now you can see it changed from the default base environment to the new face swap environment or whatever you called it. Now we are going to download face swap by entering git clone and the URL of the Facebook GitHub. Now we are going to enter the new freshly downloaded Facebook directory. In there we are going to install Facebook by typing python setup.py. I am entering no because I am no AMD user. I am typing no because I don't want to use Docker and keep things simple. I am going to type yes because I definitely want CUDA so my GPU can process the face swap. Yes, our PC meets the dependencies. We will skip the waiting times till the end. Now your face swap is installed and you just have to open it by typing in python facewap.py gui. Now the graphical user interface will appear. Next time you want to launch the program, we just open the terminal in the face swap directory. We enter our virtual environment. And then we are again opening our FaceWap graphical user interface. To simplify this, we will create an executable script. Right click and create a new empty bash script. Rename it to faceswaplauncher.sh or something similar.
Open it up in the text editor and copy the script provided in the video description. Go to Preferences and Behavior. There, set the executable files to either run or ask what to do. Right click and go to Properties. Go to Permissions and allow to execute the file. Now you can easily double click, run and it will open up the GUI.